hey, <laughs> fancy meeting you here in a place like that's not me. That's not my intro. Fancy meeting you here <laughs> in a place like this. Did I just forget my own? Yeah. Okay. I'm Tish and this is Echo Echo. <laughs> And we're here again. Who, what's your name again? No. Hi, I'm Miss Erie. Yay. How have you been? I have been amazing, actually. I have had, like, honestly, the best two months of my life. Oh, um, great. Yeah, but I won't brag about it. I've just been having a oh. great time. <laughs> um. I've been trying to find a job and like I, I I basically begged for my job back at the school I left and the principal's like, no, oh, we've probably already got someone filling that role. And I'm like, sure, I've seen that job on that, on that, on the job board since I left. Okay, two years ago. Good luck with that. <laughs> but I'm thinking if I am stuck here, do you know, there's no shops so I can save money you know and oh god everything's falling apart here um yeah so we're back with another week of Dragula sorry it's been so long between drinks if people have been sitting on the ed the edge of their seats waiting for us to to do it um but but we're here um what do you what did you what was your takeaway from episode four um so I have since looked into trying to find what references Loris is trying to make. Um, yes. I made a mistake by saying Japanese jumping vampire it was meant to say Chinese right. jumping vampire. But other than that, um, I came across the comic cover. It was fan art of Loris. So I'm even further from knowing what Loris is trying to do. So. Is there like a self fulfilling prophecy where she's like, Okay, if the fan art says it's true, it's true. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, well, look, I, I think just I think just got you know. No, but like you know, you st you got to stand your ground. You know, I think that's important. You got to you got to. There's a there's a day in everybody's life where they're like, oh, was Loris's reference okay or not okay? You know, it's a it's a time that happens for everyone, really. <laughs> and so we lost foxy in the last episode um i thought that she did seem really resigned to you know to her fate almost um she just seemed like they even said you know it seemed like you came out here not expecting much of your look and she said yeah she agreed with it i'm like damn girl you gotta you gotta hide that a little bit. Like, come on, sister. Um, but like we said, I would love to see a zombie um uh, challenge in the in the next season for sure. Cause I don't think they they have done another zombie one, have they? I don't think they have for season three or four. No. What did they do where oh it was they a did vampire a ghost challenge? One. Did they do a vampire one? I'm thinking of vampires where um, uh, Dali was doing like he was, you know, the creepy guy standing in the, and it was a beach vampire. Was that vampires? Um, that was season four of Vampire Beach Party. It was like That's meant right. to be a 60s kind of. Yes. Like yeah, those yeah. beach movies from then. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But no vampire, no, no ghost. zombies. Yeah, ghosts they did a ghost in season challenge two. in season two, and some of them were basically zombies. Yeah, true. True, true. Yeah. Um, and then now the look, okay. So we we're dressed as Foxy, and um, so look, uh my as a I don't oh, did I say that on on I don't think I did say it. So we were talking before and I was explaining how my costume was on stretchy material but i i painted it with acrylic paint and it didn't stretch anymore so i had to had to get together something at the last minute but i've got this boxing like cape all right 
and you're thinking, well, it's supposed to be the shit, right? That's my character. It's a wrestler. But because, you know, I've got gray hair, I'm like, oh, let's do something silver, right? And so the name of my character, and I will, you'll have to wait for the video. So you've got my my name here, and the name is the Silver Skid Mark. <laughs> So that's my that's my wrestling name, the Silver Skid Mark. On the back of my, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? I can see can things. See I don't know what it says. I just realized the dogs have my like apple pen on on the bed, so I'm just gonna get that. Oh my god! It's not. It's my knockoff apple pen, actually, but not the real one. Yeah. So. The the detail in the in the boxing. I'm glad I spent a lot of time on this because it's the only thing I could actually use. Now, what's your what's your inspiration for your outfit? So I was doing the walk-in freezer outfit. I originally oh, had yes. a purple dress um, yep. that I sewn, but it's a one-way stretch, not two-way stretch, and I. Oh made the panels the wrong direction. So it stretches downwards, oh. but not across. So I can't get into so it. Oh, annoying. Oh my God. That's kind um, of how so I felt about mine too. It's meant to look like I've got some frostbite going on. But okay. I'll try and yep. take better photos of it because the camera quality on this is awful. Oh, this is terrible. Like, I feel like I'm pretty clear, but because my makeup is shiny, only like if I had dark makeup on it, it'd just look like nothing. But yeah, no, don't don't worry. I that's actually my favorite part of of it takes me. You would be so surprised how long it takes me to animate like our our stupid floor show. But I like like I I think it's worth the, you know, I think it's worth it. them say like the whole name i don't even think they call them drac and swan in the you know in the show they just sort of say the boules you know i think they say it every now and then but it's not often yeah but i haven't heard like the whole name said you know that's yeah, cool I <laughs> Um, that is clean for sure. 
um, Jake. I don't know. Vander kind of like faded in between the middle of them. Yeah. Five. <laughs> Can you see what it may? Doctor Maple's shirt is saying. <laughs> that clown's not scary. Yeah, but look at his. It's like written so terribly. <laughs> I I love it. <laughs> Foxy went to fucking town. Foxy ate her brains and Vander's brains. Uh -huh. But Loris gave her speech. <laughs> Loris did give a speech Stop. to end all fucking speeches. That was Hot. my choice. I'm not going to do the animal product for over two But God damn it, I am not fucking going home today. <laughs> Can we just say I didn't realize how hardcore uh Vanda and Foxy were going beside her? Oh I knew I had to keep looking at them to distract myself from this awful speech. Not today. <laughs> that is my not new not 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 I do a really good one. You hear it? I'm Loris. I haven't eaten meat in two years. But I'm not going home tonight. Not, not tonight! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's a struggle, 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 struggle. And she said today. But it turned into this. And then she like took one bite, which is like, I saw that. Thing. It had a really weird consistency, though. Yeah, I ate some chocolate. It was like chalky eggs. Really? Yeah. Ew. I was curious. I wanted to be a down ass bitch and try. I thought you were all about it though. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> I was watching Foxy, and then all of a sudden I just see that white leg come wrap around the side of the table. She sits <laughs> and begins her speech. Oh, I almost broke this table. And she begins her speech. Oh, it was genius. <laughs> I loved every fucking minute. Well, was it really good? Well, it took up all the eating time. It's it did. She, it did. she it really worked did. her way out of eating by giving a long-winded speech about how she's vegan and then took a bite and vomited. So I think she won. I saw her lick it once. She, she, she got a good lick in there, too. But she just licked it. How? Oh, good. Poor thing. Oh, my God. That poor girl. She didn't deserve that. <laughs> Not tonight. That's nice. I, poor Loris. I just feel like it was Loris. I think it was Laura. I think it was Loris too. I think that if we're judging, if we're judging by eating, yeah. She, did, she ate the least. Well, and by concept, she wasn't a zombie. Yeah, she, she was a rabbit. And like, I get that she had like a backstory to it, but like. But I mean, Foxy ate the goddamn brain. She ate yeah, everybody's Foxy brain. Had, like, an eye she ate all the brains. Bro, she even ate um. She ate everyone's brains. Brains, brains too. Yeah, yes. Okay. I really hope I see Foxy. I hope it's Foxy that's there. And as far as today, yeah, I'm not going to be at the bottom. Not tonight. No. Not tonight. <laughs> then what about ha her having an anxiety, anxiety, anxiety attack? No, it was an allergic reaction. It was an allergic reaction. Oh, what was oh. ah. Sherry, we're recording. Sorry, so we're not no. um, what happened? Lawrence. I forgot about this. Did this also Did you get remember? turned last week? I didn't think so. I I couldn't. I honestly couldn't remember this. Wow. Should I be filming this? I can, but I always oh, okay. swear it was in the last episode. Having a reaction to something. Really? Yeah. I mean, Laura then. started like choking on her. Was on the last water, episode, she was I'm like combining them in my head. Yeah, maybe, but I didn't think that they, because I can't remember anyone saying Sherry. Who's Sherry? Who the fuck is Sherry? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, you guys. I'm having, like, my throat is swelling up. I can't swallow. And like, she just started, like, kind of, like, puking. And we were like, okay, like, like, like sit down, drink some water. And she was like, I can't drink water. And then, um... Okay, but, uh, the contour on Melissa B. Fierce. Uh, um, um... Um, oh my god, I had her name. Magnolia Crawford. Is that her name? Magnolia? No. What? You know, the one with the pointy that had like the, the thinnest oh, ever. Yes. Is it Magnolia? Yeah, that's Magnolia. Yeah. 
she she's like you're coming for a gig melissa b fierce is coming for uh magnolia's gig right there that's some skinny nose contour yeah we were all just kind of concerned for her we sat her down and then like in my eyes i i felt like she if, if she was really having an attack like that i would have taken all my shit off and worry about my health first and then worry about the competition because i come first i think there could have been like a tickle or some sort of reaction but i think she overplayed it if anything i think what she did was like way overacting do you think that this is probably where we got our opinion that Loris was kind of crappy in this first season? Possibly. I remember there being like a weird like shift in tone for, for like everyone against Loris. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, th- I think I've always just had that opinion where like they probably should have gone home during the zombie challenge. Like it was a great yeah. outfit, but yeah, it just I didn't fit what. Again. Mm. All right, let's go. I mean, every once a minute on TV, right? They weren't recording. Yeah, she wasn't even on camera. That's I think right. she just wanted like some sort of pity or something. I'm over here thinking I'm cute with my earrings, and Melissa has fucking like Hi. mountain. Hi. All that shit. Feel this week, Vander. Oh God. No one, no one said Vander was going home. <laughs> no one thought Vander was going home. No. But how I just still think like they just they just went for it, you know, like I think that they would have been safe if <clears throat> regardless of how hard they would have went in the challenge. I think that it was just like that he was willing to do the challenge, but he just went for it. They just went for it, I mean. Yeah. You gotta camp it up, I suppose, you know. Because you're getting judged on everything, I suppose. Like the boules would remember that later if it would if it came into play, you know. I'm so confident. I got How do you my... feel about that that challenge? Honestly, I thought it was cool. I wanted to do it. One of the first things I said in the first interviews was, "I never want to be in the bottom, but if I am, I only want to be there because I wanted to do something nasty and crazy and show it off." How do you yeah. feel about the performance of the you know the girls that you went up against? Yeah. Honestly, I could only hear what was going on because my face was so fucking deep and Dude, like the brain, brain yeah. shit. And you know, look, Ew. I could only hear what was going on. Did you see Foxy like smash her face into your brain? No, did she? she? Yeah. No, I yeah, didn't. She I like went from she her into your to over to your. I heard Laura's like, speech. You heard her beautiful <laughs> speech. <laughs> 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 The oh, shade. Dang. Well, congratulations on surviving. Let's go. Good to be alive. How are the so, brains? How are the brains though? Oh man, slimy, squishy. Uh, are we going to pretend they didn't actually talk to each other in between this? Like, obviously, they would. You know. <laughs> They would have talked about this before. I know they aren't sequestered away like in RuPaul, but still, you know. <laughs> That's a beautiful, yeah. lovely wig. It's pretty. It's very um Screen Queens, Ryan Murphy. Yes. Did you see that Layla McQueen won an Emmy? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, my God. A little, I love her so much and I was looking at her and I'm like thinking you know that first episode where she was like you know like with her little booties and she was like all curled up and I'm like oh, <laughs> oh baby she's grown up <laughs> I just love her so much she's 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 the best she's one it's... of my all-time faves I still have the photo of um us that didn't work out. Me too. <laughs> I put it in the oh um, my God. you know the court you love haiku. Yeah. It's sitting in the frame with that. Uh for the viewers out there, uh Miss Erie and I both met Layla McQueen. We love her. 
and we took pictures with her with a an Instax camera, which is just a, and it didn't turn out, so just a black screen. We got her to sign it too. I got mine signed. Did you get yours signed? No, I forgot. I got I got mine signed, so I got this black picture. <laughs> At least the Jinx ones worked out and, you know, Stacey ones. And we got heaps, we got heaps of those. No Alyssa, though. Oh, oh, oh well. we paid so much money <laughs> and we didn't I, get to meet Alyssa. I paid for what I wanted. No, I got what I paid for. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> Stacey Lane Matthews yeah, well, and Layla McQueen. Yes, please. Oh, and Jinx. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah and Jinx and Milk. And Willem. Milk was really lovely. Yeah, yeah. I know. The villain edit of All Stars 2. Was that All Stars 2? Uh, was it 2? No, 3. Uh, okay. Hang on. No, it was 2. Wasn't it? Is that the one Alaska one? I don't know. I think Trixie was there, so I think 3. Oh, yeah, it could have been three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she got the villain edit, but, you know. All right, let's keep going. All kinds of unappealing, <laughs> descriptive words. <laughs> Do you feel like, like that? You can come over here. There's no more space. Yeah. Do you feel bad about eating an animal? Well, you know, the way I see it is, like, I haven't done it in so long that, like, doing it once is really not that big of a deal. And, um... Do you want to recite your speech again? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please do it for us. Please do the speech again. Oh my god, should I? Okay. I'll do the whole leg thing too. Right, can can, can, yeah, right, throw I'm your gonna, leg I up like over here. I want to put my leg up on god this thing. Bless. I mean, <laughs> that was <laughs> <laughs> This is what I love. I have not consumed by choice any animal product for two years, but god damn it, I am not going home today. Death not drop. tonight. Not, not tonight. tonight. Dude, she said that. that. I've convinced her that her memory was wrong now. Right. Okay. That's how it all like rotated. Um, I like she it looked like she dabbed at the end there. Did she dab? I think she might have. Was dabbing I think, in then? Mm, what year was this? No, it wouldn't have been in. Dabbing. Or maybe, I don't know, seven years. You know what I realized today was I I realized that I had was a teacher when emo and scene kids were around, right? But I didn't know I was in it until I was out of it. There was heaps of scene kids at at Glad at the high school. Yeah, I know exactly. Hi. I'm a freaking idiot, right? I'm an idiot. And and it wasn't until like there's some TikTok trends where people will redo their scene makeup from 10 years ago, you know, and I love that. And I'm like, oh, my God, I was a teacher when that was happening and I didn't even really think anything of it. I just think, I don't know, as a drama teacher, you always like, yeah, the weird kids are here, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, the kids saw the craft again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, those boobs. I'm gonna have to blur. Oh them. my god. <laughs> what the fuck? He's gotta know. Oh, the thrust. The, la the latest, like, Playboy Mansion one. Woo! She was, she was spicy. I had to put lots of blurs on that one. Jeez. Oh. Hey, non English speaker, why don't you go try to read it? Bingo! <laughs> <laughs> love his love. Maybe I'll have to do it like an Israel, like, look one day with the feather epaulets oh yes please also, um, congratulations so, sorry people are censoring for you yeah i know but it just does look like that he's kind of like squeezing them so <laughs> you know <laughs> moving forward and getting that much closer to snatching the oh ground my, dry oh God, i can't <laughs> <laughs> Hello, zombies. Congratulations on moving forward and getting that much closer to snatching the crown of Dragula. 
Enjoy these brain tumor shots and meet us after to discuss your next challenge. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright! Alright, I ran out of my way. Let's drink. Drink, drink, drink. Here you go. Dayquil again. Thank you! Yeah, this is gonna be that Dayquil shit again. The robot right. 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 Shut up. <laughs> this look is amazing. Like, seriously. This is what they were doing in season one. Like, there are. You know, RuPaul season one could never, could never. That's what the filter was for. <laughs> like, it's so awesome. Like, every little detail is amazing. Like, bah. And I, I reckon that the um, choker, I bet you that's made out of hot glue because it's got that sort of look to it. Oh, it's just fantastic. It's so good. But it looks simple as well. Do you know what I mean? Like it looks doable. Yeah. Oh, damn. damn. Well, ladies, we hope you've recovered. From I wish they spent some money on a mic, though. That's all. Oh. <laughs> This is just echoing around the room. Our time in Death Valley. It's time we discuss your next challenge and take one more step towards crowning our super monster. They are not in the same room. We're calling this challenge Pretty in Pink, AKA the Basic Bitch. We've seen your gorgeous, monstrous manifestations, but can you be pretty? Can you be fishy? Can you be basic and beautiful? For tonight's floor show, we want you to show us your soft and feminine side. And let's be honest, ladies. For some of you, it may take half the night. So that's it for now. But we'll see you all in the parlor a little bit later. Oh, shut up. Um, it's funny that they use it. I don't know if I've heard many people use fishy for queens lately. Like, it seems like it's gone out of favor, you know? I, it's definitely gone in the last, yeah. like, probably since around 2018 or 2017, it's really started yeah. to fade away. That's so funny, though, because it's still something that the root, like, the drag race girls still aim to be that every, so, like every now and then on drag race you'll hear it said but like yeah can you remember and the last I, time i heard it on drag race i remember saying it myself you know like oh she's very fishy or whatever especially when you did like a season review you're like oh she's the fishy queen or whatever <laughs> let's do it tonight we've thrown a curveball at our they only had that look for one scene and now they're in this, but they do, hang on, is your theory they haven't done, they don't do anything other than white hair? Is that your theory? I or grey, silver hair? I don't remember saying that because I've seen them in black hair and they yeah, bald yeah. a lot. Oh, I've seen this them do this look before, but with a purple person or maybe a purple. It's a purple one in... I want to say season two. Yeah, right. I love it. It looks fantastic. But I, I'm wondering why they did two looks. That's weird. They don't usually do that. Yeah, I wonder if the um, Little Shop of Horror looks will come back and they just had to, like, refilm. Yeah, yeah, possibly. Possibly. I can't remember, to be honest. All right, let's go. In the form of a challenge, we are calling... Pretty in Pink, a.k.a. the Basic Bitch Challenge. That's right. We know that our girls can be monstrous and horrible, but can they be pretty pink and basic if the need arises? Well, we're about to find out. And tonight, we're joined by our very special guest judge, Internet Maven Bible Girl. Hello, darling. God. Let's let the floor show. I have not 
looked at, seen, or heard of Bible Girl, Bible Girl in about five years. No, <laughs> maybe no, three. I was say the same, probably five. Yeah, is she still around? I think I know so. She went into she went into merch. Wasn't she doing merch? Who's vomiting back there? Hey, you know, know, I'm gonna look her up now. Okay, you're going to do some research on the Bible Girl, but um, we'll press play. Yeah. Begin. first is that predating a, a a certain bob the drag queen purse first that would have i reckon yeah it would have there or, you go was this filmed and then released like each week i'm not sure to tell you the truth 
if it was done that way, it was after Bob the Drag Queen. After, okay. But it um, would have been the exact same time. Yeah, yeah. It's a shame that they didn't have sound because I love the, like, the little vignette things that they were saying. Um, I actually love all of those looks. I, I, I thought the only thing was um, Foxy's dress was a bit too long. Like, it Foxy. looks... I mean, Zochi, Zochi. It just looked like it was a bit draggy and, it like, you couldn't see it. Um, too bulky without any actual, what is that? Yeah, definition or anything down yeah. the bottom. But I liked her beat and I liked the the wig. Um, I I think Loris's outfit for this, she, that, I love it. Like, I, I thought it was... I remember thinking it was the best too back back in the day. Um, I know Vanda. We can maybe talk about after because he he does. We'll talk about Vanda after the judging. Um, Frankie, I liked Frankie's costume, but I didn't. I didn't like the wig with that combo. Um. Yeah, I didn't care for the wig. I don't know what it is it's about that outfit, but something is off. I feel like okay. I've said this a lot about their looks. There is something. Yeah, yeah. What is your, okay, so it's an internet grudge now. You've got an internet grudge with Frankie Doom seven years oh. ago. <laughs> um, I like, you know, and the Starbucks and everything. I like that whole gig. Um Melissa, I mean, Melissa can do pretty. We know she can do pretty. But I liked I liked the costume. I liked the dog. I liked her whole thing. Um, and the doctor, Meatball. I liked Pink Heathers. Oh, I know. I mean, Fantastic. Most of them, they yep. were in, like, costumes of Mean Girl, Pretty and Pink thing. Um, so it was, like, good to make. Because I don't think Heathers is pink. It's red, isn't it? No. Yeah, yeah. And um, because there's, they, they went with the colour that they were in croquet, so there's no pink croquet ball. Um, yeah, no, I love meatballs. Like, his beat was really pretty, his hair was good. And they were really funny. Yeah, yeah. Little... I, I liked, um, and, but there was a little bit of lipstick on his teeth as well, which I think actually worked really well for it. Um, even the shoes. That. Yeah. <laughs> when he was saying, like, I didn't do the blow job. Um, and I really like the top, silky. It just looks really good. Um, is that it? I think that's it, isn't it? Who, um, so- with- Sorry, I was just going to say some things. Yeah. Um, Loris, what was with yes. the pedals? Why, why pedals? Well, I thought that possibly, like, it looked like it was coming out of a wallet, so I thought it maybe yeah. meant to be money. I don't know, well, but it was pink. Was it pink? There were, like, pink pedals, I'm pretty sure. Oh. But there's something in the extent, I won't spoil it, um, there's something in the extermination challenge, which I wish they used for that runway instead of pedals and just... You'll see what it is. I'll bring it up after the. I can't. I can't remember. Um, so if you had to pick a top and a bottom, bottom, because I think they all, you know, like last week with zombies, where they didn't, no one really hit it out of the park, like out of the out of the park. I think this week they really all did like awesome, but I'd probably put Zochi and Frankie in the bottom. Yeah, and. Um, I mean, as it is now, possibly Xander in the middle, but I liked Loris's and Melissa's the best. Yeah, I think but, mine is Meatball and Melissa with Loris the top three. Yeah. And bottom? Um, I agree with Zochi and Frankie. Frankie. Okay. All right. Let's see what the judges say. All right, you blonde bitches have done pretty well so far, but you're only halfway through your basic trip to the mall. 
because from this point forward, for the first time in this competition, all of you will be participating in the extermination challenge. None of you will be exempt. And those fierce looks have gotten you places, but our super monster needs to own the stage. That's why it's integral. Whoever moves forward needs to be able to perform and perform well. So as part of your extermination challenge, you'll each be lip-syncing to Our Sister in Crime, Alaska Thunderfuck's Hit Track Nails. It's your chance to slay the stage and prove you have what it takes to be a star. Of course, there's a twist. It's easy for you to perform when the crowd loves you and is cheering for you, but as a super monster, the crowd is not always going to be on your side. Tonight, you not only have to give us a fantastic stage show, but you have to do it while your sisters are giving you hate. <laughs> the other girls will be heckling you, booing you, throwing food at you, and trying to trip you up while you perform. And it's your job to rise above your audience and still deliver a good show. That brings us to your guest judge for tonight, ladies, Bible Girl. She's uniquely qualified to judge this challenge because she's a master of taking people's hate and turning it around into her own success. The more people hate her online, the bigger her empire grows. Tonight, we are challenging you to do the same. Let's let the extermination challenge begin. If you're not wearing nails, you're not doing long drag. Long nails, short nails, white nails, black nails, right nails, wrong nails. As long as there's a nail, straight nails, gay nails, love nails, hate nails, your nails, my nails. As long as there's a nail, nails, 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 nails. Put on some fucking nails, 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 nails. Nails, 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 put on some fucking nails and fire oh, yes. like your Selena Kyle. Reflect your style, just keep it versatile. Spit and polish, conquer and demolish, amaze and then astonish. Now drink like alcoholics. If you're not wearing nails, you're not doing long drag. nails, short nails, white nails, black nails, right nails, wrong nails. As long as there's a nail, straight nails, gay nails, love nails, hate nails, your nails, my nails. As long as there's a nail, nails, 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 nails. Put on some fucking nails, 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 nails. Active oval French tip. Here's oh, a Sally yeah. beauty tip. Shave your arms, put on nails. Do not pass go, go straight to jail. Super glue some bitch claws or look like fucking Santa Claus. Scratch and sniff, take a whiff or put some fucking gloves on. Cat scratch fever, look like Sigourney Weaver. Are you Joan Cleaver or a Labrador Retriever? Miss Visage got it right. Keep your nails right and tight. Just the tip, pussy lip, all eyes on you. You took the nine. Long nails, short nails, white nails, black nails, right nails, wrong nails, as long as there's a nail, straight nails, gay nails, love nails, hate nails, your nails, my nails, as long as there's a nail, nails, 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 put on some fucking nails, 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 put on some fucking nails. Oh, 
I was just thinking to myself, hang on, I'll let it go to the to it's black. I was just thinking to myself, God, this is ridiculous. This is just a just the stupidest shit. And I love it. <laughs> this is honestly my dream way of lip syncing. I want to be pelted with things. And did you think it looks like they just went, here's some sandwiches. <laughs> Throw it a bag of flour. <laughs> Make sure it's open. <laughs> and, you know, someone had to clean that up. It was probably the boules and Israel. Or the girls. <laughs> <laughs> I know we did, we, we did see a second round of costumes. But do you think that, I, I know they're going to say something about Vander because he had three looks. He should have probably gotten one more of those looks out in the other round. Oh, Wilbur, are you on the bed again? No, someone else is vomiting. Another dog is vomiting. What the hell's going on? Hey, what's happening? What did you just eat? I need to turn the light on for a second. What's happening? <clears throat> What did you just eat? God damn it. Sorry. Oh, good. Oh, my God. Well, I don't I don't have to worry about feeding them because they're freaking sick. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll cut that bit out. Far out. Um, <laughs> uh, it felt like um, maybe that they... Did oh my god, she's still throwing up. Maybe they did the filming out of sync because uh, there was a bit there where I think Mel Melissa B. Fierce was lip syncing at the end, but she was still clean. So I don't know if it was completely in time, but that's okay. Yeah, I like there was um, also a few parts there where Loris and Zoshi were fairly off from the lyrics. Yeah, so I'm like, yeah. Is that was that editing, or are they just that far off from the lyrics? Yeah. Well, I saw thought... Vander, Vander, Xander, Vander. You keep saying Xander, and it messes. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the other thing I I liked about Vander's is his beat was pink, but it you know like his skin was pink. I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think. Melissa was really good um, and probably Meatball were probably the best. I mean, I think that Vanda was okay, but it was probably just a bit too much. It wasn't his, it wasn't his best week. It wasn't their best week. Um, yeah, what did you think? Um, with a challenge where it's you're meant to be basic and all that, I find it difficult to, like, what are you meant to look for? Because when you say basic, Vanda doing three reveals that had nothing to do with each other and like simple looks. That's very basic. Mm. So like you could really decide who um like you want in your top and bottoms in that way. Because like you can make multiple excuses for it. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where I thought that Loris did a good like I like both of her looks and I thought they were both really simple, like, and basic bitch. They were serving yeah. basic bitch, you know, um, or what we would think it is, you know. Yeah. Okay, let's get this judging. All right, ghouls, you all did fantastic on the runway today. So applause for you. Um, just a question. And now I love Loris's outfit now too. She's got another one. Oh yeah, just um, the dog hoodie. She's channeling Paris Hilton and she 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 delivered Paris Hilton. Um, does Bible Girl she she doesn't have much of a beat on. That's like she just looks like she just put they, a little bit of They usually don't do have like a full beat. Right. So still posting it's on more, Instagram. I don't yeah. know what they're up to. Something about Ellie Golding. 
Don't know who oh. that is. A singer, I'm pretty sure. Ellie Golding. Um, yeah. Animated Britney Spears. I don't know what's going on here, but. Okay, that's all right. Bible Girl can stay in her corner. They're still doing things. Winner of oh, RuPaul's good. Drag Race. Good for them. Oh, nice. It's in the Instagram bio. <laughs> good on her. Well done. Good for them. Yeah. About time. Now, as you know, we bring you guys out after each challenge to review what you've done, your performance, and your look. Remember, we're trying to shape one of you into our next drag super monster. We're getting to a point in the competition where decisions are getting tough for us. So tonight, we're going to ask for your help by asking you to tell us who you think should not move forward. <laughs> I'm going to start with Sochi and ask you who you think should go home at this point in the competition and why. Um, okay, so based on the competition, week after week, I have seen these girls and I've grown with them. And it's so hard to just say one name. But after each one, um, I feel like the one who's landed in the bottom and who the most that should not move forward or better yet said is not progressing as much as the others would actually be Loris. Alright. Loris, will you step forward and respond? Um, yeah. Damn! That was me trying to make my word count for school assignments. <laughs> but like, they all, do you want to do you want to reply? I can't remember this either. But it's like, do you want it to be like a cat fight? Was everybody getting along too well? That's that's what they do in America's Next Top Model. <laughs> they like can see everybody's getting along well, and then they make someone backstab another person, and then they're like, yeah. Tyra Banks comes in and shaves someone's head. <laughs> yes, and then her own. <laughs> Did she shave? Uh, absolutely. I have received mixed criticisms from the judges in the past, and um, I've been doing my best, my personal best, to really like step outside of my comfort zone and give you guys uh, something new and fresh, like a contrast from what you've seen from me in the past which is sort of what I feel was asked of me. And um, yeah, that's all I really can do. So I feel like I'm doing my best. And uh, if, if people feel like that's not good enough, I'm, I mean, this is a really tough competition. So uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, that's their opinion, but I, I thought I kicked ass tonight. All right, Frankie, will you step forward and tell us who you think should not continue in the competition and why? That's a really tough question. I mean, I've been at the bottom also. Uh, I feel like everyone here has gotten that wake-up call. Uh, it's really tough. Everyone here brings something special. Everyone's a really fucking amazing performer, amazing queen. But if I had to pick one, based on the logic of who's been at the bottom most, I'd say I have to say Loris. But I guess more so because I feel like you're gorgeous. And that like goes without saying, but I would love to see more. Like I'd love to see more monstrosity, more death. Loris, can you step forward and tell us who you think should go home and why? Um, well, I had sort of a Miss America answer prepared, but after what you just said, um, and after what's been said about me, I feel the person who's grown least based on the criticism that you guys have given is Frankie. Um, you guys have asked her to turn out more polished looks, and I think that's something that she has struggled with. But if I were to have to pick out one person who I feel is not on the same level as the rest of us, perhaps, that would be Frankie. Alright, thank you. Oh, now are you loving Loris a bit more? Huh? Hmm? I mean, I've She's never said I didn't like them. It's just that <laughs> funny zombie look has haunted me for 
what, six, oh, I know. seven years I know. now? I'm glad that you were really able to process that trauma. I Although it has, it, it has led to more questions, really. So, okay. <laughs> um, be fair, but I think Sorry. I figured out what has been bugging me about Frankie's looks. Mm. Have they been wearing that goddamn necklace every single week? I think so. I think that's what I really hate. Thick necklaces like that. I really hate them. I think that's what's yeah, been I throwing think. me off every time. Mm. Mm. Loris was right, though. Yeah. Frankie's not as polished. Frankie's not as polished. Even Meatball, I... like, Meatball's got the manufactured unpolished, you know, like, her look is meant to be a little bit not polished, but it it's on purpose. I feel like with Frankie, they'll do reference outfits or costumes and stuff that always look bad. But when they're doing, mm. like, their own thing, it looks good. Because, mm. um, spoiler alert for Resurrection, the vampire look they did in that was amazing. But um, I can't remember. Yeah. Well, I we'll remember thinking, like, I think the only one, a Resurrection, I'm sure that, I think it was tough. Like, it, everybody brought their A game. Yeah. All right, let's go. Speak a step forward and let us know your feelings about it. Well, I'm not going to beat her on the bush or say she's gorgeous, so and so, whatever, whatever. I think Laura should go home. She's playing it safe. She's not delivering what she was supposed to do. Um, I've been constantly told that I need to do this, do that, that, and I've been trying my best, and I don't see it from her. So, girl, it's time for you to go home already. Like, get the fuck out. I'm serious. No, I'm serious. No, I'm That's taken as a joke, whatever. But it's time. Your it is time for you to go home. You're just playing too much to save, and I feel like each and every one of us have tried to stay in this competition, and I feel like you're not doing it. Like, I I think she's wrong here, but also, Meatball was like losing it back there. Um, I think Frankie's on the same level. Like, I don't think Frankie's done much different either, or Zochi for that matter. Yeah. And. You know, like, but I also, it sounds like Melissa is actually just sending her home now. <laughs> I might have left <laughs> if I was also in that room. I'm like, oh, okay, I better go now. Oh, Frida. Frida's worked out how to get on the chair behind me now. God, this I'm never going to have a moment spare in this fucking chair anymore. Okay, let's keep going with the tirade. Oh, what happened? What happened? Like, you didn't break, like, you just played it safe. You just wearing like a little cocktail gel with a cape and that's all you did. So I think you should just go home. Alright, thank you. Better. Uh, I have to agree with the other girls. Um, and say Laura's. She is the one I've seen grow the most out of the competition. But the point at which we are at, things are getting much more extreme and difficult and punchy and crazy. Um, and I think, like, I think there's just like there's a disconnect there where I, I feel like the rest of us might be just slightly further or significantly further. All right, thank you. And last but not least, Nepo. Uh, I know I pick on you a lot, Laura. This isn't me trying to be a bitch, but I do agree with the rest of the girls. It's we've all stepped forward. I know that I'm not that great, but I've, I'm trying my hardest, and I I feel like everyone can see me trying really hard. And I feel like I look at you and I'm like, you're so beautiful, but like, why aren't you trying harder? That's it. So. All right, thank you, Loris. A lot of the girls voted for you to not move forward. Indeed. Is there anything you want to say to us or them that you think we should consider? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think um, there's a reason why I was picked. I think I'm definitely a threat to a lot of the girls in the cast. Xander, are you threatened by Morris? No. Yes. Zochi, so, are you threatened by Morris? I think she's a beautiful person, a creature, a phenomenal makeup artist, but as a monster, I don't feel like I'm threatened. Okay, I can see that point as a monster. 
I can see that point with this, but I don't. I just feel like Frankie's on the same level. You know, also, like I the. Sorry, you mm. got going. No, no, that's it. That's my thought. Um, I was probably just going to say it's so rude that they asked Vander first. Like, do you really think Vander is threatened by anyone in this room? Nope. I don't think he ever has been or they ever have been, you know? Um, yeah. I know at the beginning, you know, in that first episode, they were saying that, like, they were, you know, doing $5 gigs and this sort of that. Uh, it, it does seem that they have a confidence that goes beyond that. You know, and it's not arrogance. It's just the fact that they are an just naturally good. This is their calling, you know. I um, it's it's like they never had to think about it. It just is true, you know. <laughs> All right, God, this is a long. You all see things in each other that we don't see from being backstage or performing with each other, and so your input is actually valuable. Without further ado, we're going to go on to the judging portion of the runway. All right, so this challenge had two parts and we'll judge you on both your looks and your performances. We're going to bring Meatball up forward first. Please step forward. Thank you, lover. Um, I love this Heather's moment that you gave us as soon as you came out. Um, you served it up confidently and you made some steps forward in the areas that we asked you to concentrate on because I was worried um, not about your comedy because you always deliver that. I wasn't worried about your performance because you always deliver that. I was concerned if the bitch could beat her face in a soft way and I think you definitely did that tonight so that's something I absolutely appreciate. Thank you. Meatball, I don't have any criticism for you this week. Shut your mouth. I only have compliments, and this is why. We asked you to put together a different character. We felt like we were seeing the same character from you week after week, and tonight you did bring a different character. So we appreciate that. Also, the thing that won me over, the attention to detail, which was a critique we also had of you. So you look finished tonight, you had a solid character, and your performance, was great. You own the stage, you're very energetic, you're commanding, everybody, everyone's eyes are on you when you're performing. Um, I'm with her. You are so, just like, your presence is so strong. The second you came out on the runway, the look was so well thought out. You had clearly read that you were confident in what you're doing and what you're wearing and you believe in what you brought today. And you matched exactly what the challenge asked for. And again, attention to detail. The mallet is such a fucking gag for me. <laughs> so cool. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, look at it. It's like bejeweled. That's amazing. Like the mallet was bejeweled. It's got like, it was. It was a really good. It was a really coherent look. Like the whole thing. And the hair was good too. Like everything was good. Next, Melissa, will you step forward? <laughs> He hey, just Melissa, said, as soon as you turned the corner, I saw when <laughs> when Meatball went back here, there. He, he he just like nudged Vanda and then hit him with the mallet by accident, or hit them with the bat with the mallet. <laughs> ah, she looks like she's got a Trixie look in this freeze frame. A little oh, bit, like yeah, old Trixie. A little bit Trixie. Uh, the most popular girl at Dragula High. I mean, it was just done to 10, you even brought your little dead dog. It was so <laughs> fucking adorable and well thought out. Does she have a name? Yes. It's called BB. It stands for Bones Be Fierce. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know you have it figured out? Um, just, you know, your tights were glittered, the hair was done. The bitch brought her own fucking nail dryer for the performance. I was like, bitch! I could barely handle it. Um, you know how to dance, you delivered some of that, that second or third death drop in there. I mean, for me, it's tens across the board. Um, Melissa, I agree. I think your look when you came around the corner, it wowed us. 
Your performance was amazing. You are the queen of the death drop. You know that you do that very well. I'm so happy that you finally brought that to the stage and showed, showed that to us because it's what you're good at. And so I think in this competition, and that's for the rest of you girls too, find what you're good at and exaggerate it. You touched every base here with this challenge. You had a fully thought out story with your character when you came out. The nail thing, amazing. You, you dancing. I've never seen anything like it before. And are they standing up? I think they're standing up. Yeah, like, they're standing. <laughs> season one was so, so poor. I was like, no, nah, we don't. No, nah, no chairs. We don't have. It's not in the budget. He's got to stand behind this table. <laughs> I I just noticed it because I could see so, so much of the top of Bible Girl. I'm like, God. <laughs> and just this outfit right here. These tights, did you do them? Yes. Wow. Everything. Come <laughs> on. Like, it's so good. It's like totally Britney Vegas. It's everything. It's Thank you. Job. Stop. Seller. You're doing it. You're doing it. So, Melissa, while you did score in the top tonight, Meatball actually won the competition. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> Listen, you definitely will be moving on to the next round, but because of things like taking criticisms, moving forward, growth, risk, and polish that we were asking for, Meatball is our winner tonight. Thank you. So both of you girls will be moving forward in the competition, so congratulations. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Okay, we're going to start next with Vander. Okay, Vander, so my feelings for you tonight are a mixed bag. Um, when you came out, I thought the look was a little boring. I've come to expect some something more dynamic from you, and I really wanted to love this mommy dearest moment, but it never went anywhere for me. I was left wanting and hungry, and I get very mad, as she knows. I get very mad when I'm hungry, and you never fed me, and it was a little upsetting. You didn't lose, you kind of stayed right in the middle. And I think based off of what we've seen from you, you could have won tonight. That's that's my main critique as well, is that I felt that the opening look was a little too matriarchal for what the challenge was calling for itself. I feel like there was mm. a lack of like linear story storytelling with the costume changes. So I don't know if there was a lot of cohesion once you got to the end and... That makes sense. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, there was a, it was almost like... Uh, costume changes and reveals for the sake of a reveal, not for like the furthering like of an idea. All right, Miss Frank. Um, I'm just gonna pause it there because I that's I think that that is spot on. Like, obviously the looks are amazing, but even this look here, it, it's not giving basic bitch. You know, it's giving PTA mom. Like, it it just isn't. It isn't it, and then. What was the one that was after the... I can't even remember the one in the middle now. Like... Sorry. It was a... Like a dress, wasn't it? Where yeah. Where like fabric, but, but a dress. Yeah, yeah. I Maybe mean, I like the... Dress. Obviously, they've done this from scratch. You know, you can see. But it just didn't... You know, I, I don't think it made sense for what... For basic bitch. Yeah. But, and I think for concept, concept probably Vanda is is at the bottom, like as far as concept goes. So you know. I, I would put, I think Zochi. Yeah. Because it was, yeah. it was kind of like that Victorian, but it wasn't. You know, it wasn't bad. basic, bitch. I, I yeah. think it's bad. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I was happy with you this week, and I'm going to tell you why. The things that we criticized you on last week were immediately corrected, starting with your biggest two assets. It's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> your breastplate looks smooth, beautiful, well done. I really appreciate that you worked on that. You did a very good job on it. You also came with a complete head to toe outfit that totally matching, totally together. Um, the hair we liked as well because that's that monster Frankie Doom hair that we haven't been seeing a lot of and we love. 
the sunglasses gave a little Angeline fun, like pretty and pink moment. So I thought you did very well this week. I am so obsessed with you. You remind me of like Brooklyn drag, and it's it's very like you said, mm. class and. I love this Angeline meets Divine meets Jennifer Coolidge, like, conglomerate thing that you put together. So, next is Sochi Mochi. The thing that I love the most about your look tonight is the hair. Like, I always see you in this green, punk, hard light. And this hair is bringing me so much pussy and so much softness in this Southern Belle way that you served it up tonight. I was really loving that. And just the softness overall. My criticism for you tonight is I just, I didn't feel like you brought it all the way for us. You almost seem half committed in your energy. You know what I mean? I felt like you were maybe not 100% confident tonight for the runway portion. You didn't. I just want to stop it there because I. I don't like her wig. I think it's messy. It's, yeah, it looks half styled or there wasn't enough hair in the wig to do the style she yeah. wanted. Yeah, yeah. But I do love her lipstick because it is so ridiculously B-flips, you know, like, oh, my God, serving serving B-flips. And obviously it's, like, overdrawn, but I don't, I didn't like the, the wig. I liked nearly everything else except for the long the dress that was a bit too long i prefer this look to the original one that she had on i like this coat but i don't like the bodysuit under it oh okay yeah yeah pull anything out that really wowed us and the problem is at this point you've got to wow us because it's really getting down to the line and everybody's popping something out every chance they get to stand out. It kind of felt like you were like maybe a 5 or a 6 out of 10 on like the energy scale. I think as far as the look goes when you came out on the runway kind of what I had said about Vander it was a little matriarchal um, as far as like what the silhouette was. I understand it was like a southern belle there to yeah. take. Um, I think for me personally, if you had just taken the hem up to like even maybe just the knee, okay. and you know what I mean, like because you can still retain the aesthetic of that southern belle, but take it to 2016. And Laura, take so a step forward. Hi, Laura. How are you? Hi. I'm, I'm doing good. Personally, you're probably my favorite. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I really don't have anything bad to say about you. Oh, I really enjoy you. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. Loris, your makeup is tight. I love it. And I live for it, and I've come accustomed to expecting that from you. Um, your looks are put together. I told you my thoughts about you the last challenge. I refer to you as a true artist, and I really still believe that of you fully. What I'm wondering at this stage is, are you ripe enough to snatch the dragon of the crown? Are you ready? And that's what I'm still questioning. Because you're creative. You have a lot of ideas. You come out with the cooking. You come out with the cell phone. You have clever things to say, the story unfolds, but you're getting tripped up a little bit here and there. I've warned you about this before too, getting caught up in the gimmicks of the reveals, like you're fumbling with a little cape lip, it came off eventually. Underneath, it's super fashion and cut, but we had to watch you sort of struggle with it for a few uncomfortable seconds to get there. And it's that refinement that you need to deal with so that you, again, can be seen in your strongest, best light. There's an energy that radiates from you. Whether you're actually even doing anything or you're just standing still, I, you emanate something, and it's really special. So don't miss that. Thank you. You're. I'm just gonna pause it there, but um, I didn't notice Loris's. Her eye makeup is gorgeous. Like she's got that little silver in Like it is. It like um, Swan said. It's very tight. Like, it's very good. Do you think that Bible Girl's being extra nice to her because everybody just said she should go home? <laughs> I mean, maybe a little bit. Maybe. But I, I agree but with what Swan said where she is a little bit green, you know, like she she was confident, not like Violet Charchke. You know, like Violet Charchke was a drag freak of nature. You know, she came out of the womb in, like, her tearaway. Like, she she just was born to be a drag queen. Like, Violet, 
Violet and another drag queen who we can't talk about just yet uh, just seem to be so natural at drag and I think that um, Loris has got it but I can see not quite yet, you know. And what Loris has gone on to make, like her costuming and like she's amazing. She it really is like a true artist in that sense. So I think that's probably like my favourite thing about Dragula as well is that we don't lose track of the people afterwards. Oh, well, maybe we'll lose track of Mary Cherry, but um, no, like. <laughs> Hopefully not Peter think... Betty as well. Oh, no. Oh. Like, it's so as a non-binary I... person, I absolutely love them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that she, does she, is she a she, goes by she, her. Bitter? Um, um, yeah, but I've seen her teaming up with some other people and I'm like, ew, <laughs> don't team up with Bitter Betty. God, somebody who changed their entire drag character just to get on Dragula. Mm. There's mm. a few of them. Mm. Oh, really? Who else? Probably she'll bleep them. Yes. Eva Destruction. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because she um, she was on, like, America's Got Talent and stuff, hey? Yeah, they did the laughing track. Yeah, and uh, Sam Thompson Sam Thompson used to show me her videos a long time ago. And what, did, did she just, like, not shave and that's how she became her character? Because um, they used <laughs> to do a lot of, like, stereotypically girly and femme looks. And it wasn't until you're going to actually have to cut all of this stuff because this yes, is a lot. Yes, I of... will. I will. So it wasn't until Nina Benita Brown got on um, season nine. Yeah, yeah. From Atlanta. So Nina has a big rivalry, kind of bad relationship with Eva Destruction and Bitch Puddin and a few other Atlanta queens. Oh. Um, and I reckon the reason why Eva Destruction jumped ship from trying to get onto Drag Race it's because Nina Benita badmouthed a bunch of Atlanta queens when they got on the show. Because, um, yeah, there's a few Atlanta people that have since stopped even trying to bother get on. Yeah, right. I remember when Violet Chachki and someone said, oh, are you, you're from a- Atlanta, and someone said, hot Atlanta, and she's like, no one, no says, one says that. that. Nobody says that. This, yeah, Jasmine Masters. <laughs> I, lo- I love that. I loved Violet from the minute she walked in the workroom. I'm like, yeah, there's my girl. I love her. And I know she was a brat, but. It wasn't that bad. Like watching the season back, because I watched that season at long ago. It wasn't that I, bad. I, do you know what? And I think that would be the case, but I haven't rewatched the season either. But I loved her regardless, you know. Rewatching it, um, even knowing what Pearl went through, I still didn't care for Pearl. Like it was just What what did Pearl go through? The whole um before season seven started filming, um, she had a quick talk to RuPaul before they were filming a segment and it was just like, Oh, I'm so thankful for all like this opportunity and all that. RuPaul looks at her and says Nothing you says matters unless that camera is rolling. Wow. And I didn't think I could like RuPaul less, but, you know, there you go. Like, hey? Yeah, shitty. But, like, mm. Pearl got dragged to that competition. They could have gone home that first episode or... Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But was- she was... He and she were very, they were too pretty. They were, they had pretty privilege, you know, like Who Jasmine Masters, Pearl. Okay. Yeah. 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 Jasmine Masters went home because she was too manly, you know, uh, in my opinion. But yeah. I, okay. <laughs> enough of that. Finish this. Race. Let's finish this show. Hey. What time is <laughs> <laughs> it's only oh quarter God. past nine. It's okay. It's okay. Her performance is still holding you back. 
I understand that you've grown a lot in your confidence and performance, but the question is, are you growing fast enough? Because the competition is moving along quickly at this point. I need to decide with these girls, are you strong enough to perform in other cities and represent us at this point? And that is honestly what it's coming down to for us. So once again, I think your looks and ideas are amazing. Your performances are a little lacking. Now, as you know, not all of you will be here with us as we move forward in the competition. But for those of you who do remain, we have a very special treat planned for you. We're going on the road, and we're taking you to San Francisco. <laughs> One of the birthplaces of punk, drag, and home of the legendary drag party, Trendy Shop. Now known as Mother. <laughs> now, each of you will be coming up with your own shows and performing at the event for our guest judges. The creator of Tranny Shack, the legendary Hecklina, and her cohort in crime, the world-famous theater producer and cult leader, Peaches Christ. Thank you all, and you can return to your crypts for the night. But remember, as always, one of you will not be waking up tomorrow. Pleasant dreams, darling. I feel amazing. I feel on top of the world. I just want to fucking go to San Francisco. <laughs> That's a crazy person. That's a crazy person. What does she agree with what they said about her performances on being that? I think intense, she agrees with what they said. She's not going to say it, but she's not going to throw herself in the bus and say, yeah, I agree, I'm, I'm like, not as... I mean, as who would, though? She well, said... She said a lot of bullshit. It's crazy. Like, if you're upset, then be upset, but she's just like, I'm very, I'm very happy. I mean, her critique of me when she said I should go home because I'm not as polished as everybody else, um, I really wanted to just jump in and say, it's because I don't want to be. I don't, I make fun of her because I feel like... Um, also, these walls are like paper thin. Who do they think they're kidding? <laughs> do you reckon they're all mad at Loris because Loris kept saying today instead of tonight? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You know the, you know the not tonight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, no. I, I know what you mean, but yeah, I'm not sure. I think she was just trying to be like not hurt. Like that would hurt your feelings. Everybody, everybody in the whole whole cast said you should go home. I'd be like, yeah, I'm feeling on top of the world. You, you bitches, you know. Like I would be trying to hide that I was like devastated as well. That's how I get through life. Woo. <laughs> like she could take it, but like I think sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it, like, it clearly affects her, but like, I mean, I had to say, like, her makeup is flawless. <sighs> I feel like I'm going home, to be honest. I don't want you to go. I don't want to either. But I'm afraid that I might. I mean, they probably give you really good critiques and good shit, but I mean, at the last minute, they might be like, but, you know, there's other people that are more consistent, and I might go. You never know. Damn, uh, we want We're going to fucking San Francisco, oh. bitch! I am a fucking <laughs> monster, and I think that's mm. what they, I hope they recognize in, like, moving forward and choosing, like, the next people to move forward. And they say that they want punk rock, and I'm like, well... We're you right here. It. We're right I'm here. Like, but this week was supposed to be basic, and I gave you basic. <laughs> We're gonna share a room, right? Yeah. I'm gonna give you all the moves. Yes! Let me see that dick. Oh! <laughs> Bitch! What was that? What is that? <laughs> you old ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> My pussy is nasty. It's nasty, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you, bitch. Oh, I was fine up until you fucking hug me. <laughs> I mean, whatever happens, happens. But we're still gonna hang out all the time. Absolutely. I mean, at least we got super close. And now we're gonna hang out all the time and perform all the time together and pee ourselves on stage and puke in each other's mouth. I wish I would have. We should have. Let's just do it right now. Right now. I love this show. I do too. I love all the season one.
things. Oh damn, just look. Woo. All the clothes. I don't I I it's been so long since I've watched this season. How long were they holding that green shit in their mouth? <laughs> gagged. I gagged when they did this. I work. Damn. The silhouette. That silhouette was me. Be sure to contribute to the Dragula Grand Prize at Indiegogo, Keyword Dragula, or simply use the link below. Oh my god, I was absolutely gagged when they did that. I was like thinking, oh, poor Zochi, but happy that Loris made it. And then I'm like, oh, oh, <laughs> the, the double time. elimination. At the time, I think it goes the other way around. Where I was like, oh, not Zochi. And I was like, oh, okay, Loris is going. <laughs> oh, but that look, that last look of Loris's, damn, it was it was beautiful. And I loved Zochi's look. Was it, is it a, do you think it was a Beetlejuice sort of a? Um, it uh, reminds, like. I don't know what it reminds me of. I don't know why it's Simpsons, but I think it's just the pearl necklace. Like that oh, big... yeah, yeah. Do you know what I think of when I think of her is the um, the lady gremlin, the girl gremlin. Oh, Greta gremlin. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The the, the same one that was um, um, Tyra Sanchez's uh, uh, th when she did that guy up for his wedding. You know, when they had the wedding with the opposite sexes and Tyra Sanchez did the guy's makeup and he looked like the girl gremlin. That poor guy, he looked like the girl gremlin. I think that was Foxy. Um, Tyra Sanchez, that was, you'd think you of um, season six with. It wasn't a door. Wah, wah. Who's that? Oh! 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 What is her name? Oh my god, I can't think of her name now. Oh my god. I liked her. Oh my I god. I did too. Um I've got the I word can't. foxy in my head. And I, I know, same. That's what I was thinking. I th I was thinking it was a foxy type thing. Oh my god. No, I have to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to say this earlier on. This is completely not relevant. But yes. I woke up, saw yes. my phone, and it was 2.30, and I was like, oh, I better start getting ready and all that. Opened my curtains. It's just pitch black outside. And woken up at 2.30 in the morning. Full, absolutely fabulous. Just Love that. 
I, I, no, it was, I'm sure it was a girl called Foxy. I think it was. But I, but don't I know can't remember. The... Yeah, it wasn't just Foxy on its own. Um, do you know I used to have like a really, really, like a tumbler that was huge that was dedicated to Absolutely Fabulous? Yes, I do remember that because I was thinking about it the other day because <laughs> um, quite big tits came into my head for some reason. <laughs> that was my most popular um, <laughs> pose, quite big tits. <laughs> Oh my god! I used like uh, I just used to quote that so much. What just felt? Did something just fall? I dropped my phone. Okay. Um, also, it's um, Jocelyn Fox. Jocelyn Fox. There you go. I knew it was the Fox. Yes. Oh my god! How could we forget that? She was a filler queen. If there ever was a filler queen to be filled, you know, good filler, good solid filler queen. Hmm. Um, I don't know. Okay. Do you remember what it would be? To remember, 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 oh no! <laughs> to remember, I memorable, can't. memorable. You. Is that what you mean? That's yeah. That's the word I'm trying to say. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I was pretty gagged at the time that they did get rid of two. Do you think possibly it was to cut down on costs? Yeah, I reckon they only had the one car to get to San Francisco and they all had to fit into that one. Yeah, because you had to go to where Peaches and Hecklinker were. You couldn't get them to come to you. <laughs> but I was they were so excited to go to San Francisco. I'm like, isn't that like two hours away? Like, it's not that far. Yeah, it's so I wouldn't say more than two hours. Yeah. But I'll um, be excited yeah. to get to meet Peaches Christ. Yeah, I know. I follow her on Instagram, at the, like I have always, but because I'm using my um, Echo Echo um, thing more than my other one. But, yeah, all right. Well, I, yeah, I'm looking forward to next week and um, next episode, I mean. But I, I think we've pretty much covered all of our opinions. Uh I I honestly thought that Frankie had fluked her way through the to get to top four, you know, if you yeah. compare it to other people. Um, like, she 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 should have gone probably in episode two. Yeah, like they were an amazing artist and performer, but so far this hasn't really been the best showing. No, absolutely like- not. People have been eliminated because they've been worse yeah. or, like, really, like, smaller things. Mm. Or they've mm. been, like, Foxy, I feel like, was eliminated very quickly. Mm. Like, like, they Fox- weren't given Foxy- as much of a chance to fix, like, the critiques that they had. Yeah, and and Foxy basically got pretty positive to middle. Like, she was never in the bottom. Oh, no, she was in the bottom for the wrestler, but... I think no, they, they just weren't. wanted. They're in the top. No, no, Foxy. Oh, Foxy. Sorry, I was thinking of Zochi again. Um, yeah, I was thinking of Zochi. Zochi had pretty good feedback all the way, and then boom, she's out this week. Um, yeah. All right. Well, we'll wrap it up there. I, uh, yeah, I think that I've said everything I wanted to say. Anything else you want to add there? I don't really think so. Mm. All right. Well, we'll sign off here. Um, please like and subscribe. We're almost up to 300, 300 subscribers. Oh, wow. Good which for is you. amazing. Yeah. So we've had some, like, I've had a hand from some really awesome creators um, and collabing and stuff like that. So, Yeah, it's been really, like, really, really rewarding, although I'm, like, pumping out the videos. Yeah, Um, I noticed that. One of the the creators who is big in the anti-MLM sphere, she said that when she was first starting out that she did put out, like, heaps of videos that got her out there. So, um, yeah, I mean, ideally I'd like to go back to filming, like, on a camera rather than just the, like, the live thing. Um, but 
like it is so easy just to tape it and it's up, you know. I'm it's a matter of like not saying the filler words, um, you know, which I'm getting better at. <laughs> Cuz uh yeah, you you you've got to be like so careful with everything you say. Oh, we can go back to here. Why don't we go no, oh, I'll stop sharing the screen. There you go. Oh, wow, there we go. We're big again. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to take this off. I've got a headache. And oh, me too. Like, I think I'm just going to get into redo this all up another day and take the photos. <laughs> I took photos before, so I, I'm okay. I was messing around trying to sort out um, Streamlabs. Thank yes. You. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Wouldn't you? I'm an idiot. Yeah. All right. We will say farewell and we'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Goodbye.